Hi, this is Tony Guthrie, owner of Clean Easy Carpet Cleaning, and I wanted to spend just a few moments talking with you about how carpet cleaning pricing really works. Just to give you some honest insights from someone who has been in the business for over 20 years. So I want to share very briefly the four approaches to pricing that you will face in this industry. First is what we call the bait and switch guys. We've all seen these guys who have advertisements that look something like this. You'll get it in your value pack or maybe in one of those newspaper circulars or, or something that's been posted on your doorknob or something like that, but where you see a whole house cleaning special for $69.99 or something like that, or, or five rooms of cleaning for $14.99 per room. We call these guys the bait and switch guys for a very obvious reason. Those prices are not real. They're prices that are designed to get you to call them, you think that you're going to get this really great $70 deal to have your whole house cleaned, and then when they get out there, they begin to tell you all the reasons the price doesn't apply to your particular situation. They begin to tell you that it's dirtier than they thought it was going to be, so they're going to have to have some additional uh, chemicals and pre-sprays, or they're going to have to actually add some detergent to their machine or their truck mount, or something along those lines, and the price is going to go up exorbitantly hi now let me tell you why there's no way in the world that a carpet cleaner can make a living cleaning five rooms in one hall for seventy dollars the reason is if and you probably know enough about business yourself to know this but all of us who are in business have to pay things like taxes and insurance you know medical insurance liability insurance insurance on our vehicles we have to pay salaries to our employees we have to pay administrative costs uh, to run our office uh, advertising fees maintenance of our equipment maintenance of our vehicles then the cleaning supplies themselves and then licensing and on and on it goes. It just simply costs money to operate a business. So if they're going to charge you $70, which is it's going to take them about two hours to clean that house, that's only $35 an hour. They'll typically send two men out and you can do the math yourself and see why there's just no way this is going to work. Now you look at the deep deluxe carp, uh, carpet deep cleaning there, <laughs> this one here, this deluxe package. And you'll notice that it says, well, it's $149.99 for a deeper cleaning, and we're going to throw in some free deodorizer uh, to, to help you uh, make your decision. The, the reason they can throw in free deodorizer is because deodorizer is basically free for the carpet cleaner anyway. It comes in gallons. It costs us about $20 a gallon. We can do 20 to 30 houses with one gallon, so it literally costs us less than $1 to put down, so you're really not getting a, a free deodorizer anyway. And then that price, of course, is a bait and switch tactic as too, because they'll come in and and they'll again think that you're going to do you're you think you're going to do the whole house for 149.99 for five rooms and one hall with the free deodorizer and then next thing you know they change the price dramatically the same thing with the 174.99 pet treatment same thing applies the uh, material that it takes the chemicals that it takes to handle pet urine and things of that nature is just simply that not that much more expensive to put down so what they're going to do is they're going to come out and tell you that you're going to need extra treatments, extra approaches, and things of that nature. Believe me, when you see these kinds of coupons in your value pack or in your mailbox or however you get them, just throw them away because the price is never what the coupon indicates. Next is what we call those trusted franchise companies, those national franchise guys that we're all very familiar with. You've seen their commercials on television. You've seen their vans around town. You, you've seen them. You've might have even used them yourself a time or two in the past. And the problem with these guys is not their equipment. Their equipment is actually some of the best in the industry. They can actually do a great job cleaning your carpet if they were to send out truly trained and uh, employees and technicians who desire to get your carpet clean. But the problem with these guys is twofold. First of all, their employees are commissioned salesmen. Well, you say, well, Tony, how do I know you're telling me the truth? Because I used to work for, <laughs> for a national franchise company. As a matter of fact, I've worked for one or two of them in the past. And what they're interested in is you calling the office and them giving you a price on the phone or over the Internet, and then they create a ticket that they give to their cleaning crew when they send out in the morning. Let's just say that ticket is $249.95 for a whole house cleaning. Uh, 
then when those employees actually get out to your house, their goal, their objective is to upsell, to, to make more money than the two forty nine ninety nine because that is uh, the way they get paid. They get paid on commission. So they, they come in and immediately one guy starts setting up the equipment and another guy immediately begins to start telling you uh, all the other services that they offer and why you would be better served if you'll just go ahead and take advantage of these special deals right now while we're in your house. I mean, we didn't tell you about them over the phone because it's our practice to actually get out here and offer you a special while we're in your house. What happens to these guys, as soon as they leave your home and they get in their van, they have to call into the office and the first thing the office manager asks them is not was the customer pleased, not did the carpet get clean, but how much was the upsell, how much did you add on to the ticket? Because these guys are interested in that, they're motivated by that, that's why they're coming out there. A second thing you need to know about them is that the employees, again, are more interested in upselling than they are cleaning. What this means is, is that if you say, no, I just want that $249.99 package that, that we agreed on the phone, then you're going to be amazed at how fast those guys get out of your house. They're going to be in and out before you know it. Your head is going to be spinning. You're going to say, what in the world just happened to me? Because these guys view you as someone they're not making any money off of. They've got to get on to the next house so they can add on there. So their objective is not to be professional in carpet cleaning. Their objective is to make as much money as they possibly can. This is how the franchise industry works. Then, of course, there's Bubba. We've all seen Bubba around town, that guy that we see in his van, and we might see him at the Walmart parking lot, or we might see him at at McDonald's somewhere, but we'll, we'll see him out and about. We've all seen this independent guy uh, who's typically just a good old country boy that, that uh, got out of high school or maybe dropped out and decided he wanted to do something on his own. And what we have with a Bubba is a guy who doesn't take care of his equipment. He doesn't have the money to take care of his equipment. His equipment is substandard and old. His van typically needs repair and painting and to be cleaned itself. The, the, uh, the equipment is held together with uh, duct tape and things of that nature. There's absolutely nothing professional about Bubba because Bubba doesn't want to win you over with professionalism. Bubba wants to win you over with just his good old southern country boy charm. Uh, we have no idea what Bubba's going to charge you because it just all depends on the day. Uh, if he has to pay his light bill and his light bill is overdue, then he might charge you a little more money. If he if everything's all caught up at home, then he might can charge you a, or give you a very special deal on this very special day. He's just a good old boy that you never know what you're going to get with Bubba. The best advice I can give you is stay away from Bubba. And then lastly, there's clean, easy carpet cleaning. Let me, let me just talk with you honestly about, about my company for a moment. Uh, I, I'm not looking for customers. I'm not looking to make as much money off of you as I possibly can. What I'm looking for is clients. I'm looking for people who say, you know that Tony and those guys over there at Clean Easy Carpet Cleaning, they truly, honestly care about getting my carpets and my upholstery as clean as they possibly can. When they come in, they're professional, they're clean, uh, they're courteous, they're in uniform. And they come in and they look at my carpets and they see what needs to be done and they do everything in their power, everything that technology allows to get the carpet as clean and as fresh as it possibly can. That is what we're all about. We're looking for clients, not customers. We're looking for someone who's going to say, you did such a good job, Tony. You did such a good job, Clean Easy, that you're the only person, you're the only company I'm ever going to call and I'm going to recommend you to my friends. Secondly, we're very dependable. We tend to be on time. We tend to stay as long as it takes to get the, comp the, the carpet as clean as possible. We're not trying to get in and get out as fast as we can. We're there until the job is done. You won't have your head spinning when we're leaving. You'll feel as though uh, someone came in and did a good job and took the time necessary to make it uh, make it uh, done appropriately or do it appropriately. And then there's the professional approach. We come in in uniform again. We come in on time. We treat you with respect and courtesy uh, and every aspect of professionalism we bring to the table. And one thing I can say without question or doubt is that we're very honest. If you need something, we'll tell you. If you don't need it, we won't try to sell it to you. It's as simple as that because I believe if I treat you fair or if my uh, technicians treat you fair, uh, then you will be feel as though you've been treated fairly and you'll be more likely to call us again. When it comes to pricing, we're going to give you a, 
a fair price, one that makes sense. I will not be the highest price in the industry, and I won't be the lowest. I'll be somewhere in the middle, and it'll be fair for you, it'll be fair for us, and it'll be something that you'll feel good about uh, on the front end. The price that I quote you on the phone will typically be the in-the-door, out-the-door price. You can pretty much depend on that. And if we need to make some adjustments while we're there, I'll explain them in detail, and you'll understand why. But there will never, ever be any bait-and-switch tactics. I promise you, you have my word on that. So this is a little bit about how the carpet cleaning business works. I, I trust it's been informative to you, and I hope it's helped you to make the best decision possible. This is Tony Guthrie. Thank you for joining me.